sommes dans une ferme piscicole dans le sud de l'Espagne. We are on a fish farm in the south of Spain. Scientists are testing this new video camera which can film up to 12 meters in murky water. It can also reconstruct 3D images of fish in these cages behind me. Les images des poissons qui nagent dans ces cages. Dramatically improving the quality of images captured underwater. That's the goal of these scientists. They're about to test a prototype under real conditions. Developed as part of a European project, they're working with producers of bluefin tuna, a fish which is strictly monitored. It's very important for us to know the exact quantity of fish entering our farm. The farm is composed of different cages. We decide on a quota for the farm and we cannot go over it by even a kilo more. Current ways of monitoring fish like tuna lack precision. The process can also be very time consuming. But researchers believe this new camera, which uses light waves to collect data in its field of vision, will change all that. The laser pulses many, many times a second. This is controlled by the camera. The camera also opens and shuts its own sensor. It can calculate the distance from the camera back to the object. In reality, it calculates the time it has taken for the light to travel and come back. The technology fills a niche between conventional cameras that have good resolution but a short range, and sonar devices which can film long distances but have low resolution. But this camera doesn't only produce beautiful images, it also collects data, reconstructing 3D objects. I can see the tuna at different distances because there are different colors. Not only does it give you the distance, but it also gives you the 3D object. This is better for calculating the volume, the weight of the animal. And that's really very interesting for us. In addition to monitoring fishing quotas, the technology should give producers precise and up-to-date information on how the tuna grow. Another feature is the camera's ability to achieve outstanding picture quality, even when the water is murky and full of particles. At lower depths, we need light. But the light emitted from the camera projects itself onto particles, either suspended or on the seabed. For the first two meters, this creates a big reflection. This would stop a conventional camera from working. However, this device is able to cancel those first two meters out. It's able to see beyond this field where the reflection is so intense. Researchers hope the new technology will be on the market in less than five years. Its range of use could also be wide. In addition to fish farming, the camera could be a vital tool in identifying underwater pollution and studying biodiversity on the seabed.